Hello Virgo and welcome to your December 2021 reading. So, all right, I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that I have is the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. So at the beginning of the month here, there's a decision you need to take. It, a inner decision, okay? with the King of Cups on top of it. It's really looking into how do you feel in order to have emotional integrity, in order to not be all, you know, up there in the mind, but actually be emotionally grounded. And you need that for whatever is coming. After that, I have the King of Pentacles. So King of Cups, King of Pentacles. It has to do with... Um, how you manage your life, your support, your abundance, your, um, you know, experience here, your daily life and so on, okay? Um, how you invest yourself and so on. After that, I have the Queen of Sword actually influencing here. The decision you're going to take is going to influence how you perceive what is coming towards you. So... Under our Two of Swords and uh, the King of Wands, uh, the King of uh, Cups, I have the Page of Wands and the Hangman. So you're at a, de a decision point right now when it comes to that. When it comes to how do I truly feel about that? Because if for some of you a new beginning, a new project, a new you know a new uh, news or whatever has been on the whole hangman for a while. Why, why isn't it starting? Keeps on being delayed, keeps on being delayed because you there's a choice you need to be making on how you're vibrating about this. The hangman is always there so that uh, it's putting the hold on things so that when you actually embark in it, you have the right... Um, vision of it you have the enlightenment of it you understand it and see it clearly so that you don't go in it uh, with a distortion with a wrong belief or anything like that and the wrong belief they want to look you to you know and that's why there's a hold on it because here i have the four of cups with that ace of wands the page of wands he has an ace of wands in his hand so that actually being able to grab that new passion, that new project, that new fire. You got to rise above limiting the possible mm, joy, fulfillment, emotions associated with it. You need to rise it. If you're like, well, it's going to be uh, more of the same I'm not really excited about it. I don't see how this is going to really... I don't really believe in it. I don't believe that it can really make me more happy. And, you know, I've been there, uh, done that, and so on. Then it's on a hold. Because you're not uh, grasping this new opportunity. Under the King of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles. That uh, fire... That fire is actually what is going to bring uh, the pentacle. And under that, I have the lovers and the six of wands. Because by making the decision to do this, you're actually going to be able to grab this concrete. There it's fire, there it's concrete. Because you'll be, okay, my willpower is, uh, you know... Um, there's an acknowledgement here. There's uh, understanding the past lesson. I'm back from what I've went through or whatever. This can be a promotion. This It's an acknowledgement associated with a choice. And of course, if we're talking about pr promotions and things like that, okay, because this can be a very concrete new project, new job or, or whatever. You get a promotion when you when you acknowledge yourself first, when you vibrate there, that's when it can be mirrored outside in your uh, world. So this is, there's a bit of this here, 
Okay? It's like if they're asking you to uh, open your mind. Don't reduce what the universe is trying to bring to you. So, for you to be able to actually see it and welcome it. Then under that, I have the Page of Pentacle actually grabbing that pentacle with the Queen of Wands because it is exactly going to be reflecting what you believe, where you vibrate, law of attraction, okay? And so that's why here I have Death, Judgment, and the Chariot. And Chariot, another card of success, but success because you're aligned, you're not sabotaging yourself or reducing yourself and you're moving forward. Judgment and death, you're rising above. Whatever part of you was limiting, being in the Four of Cups here, okay? Like, that's when we're limiting ourselves. And here, purification with death. And anyway, this is all bringing you to the Ten of Cups. Because whatever that project is, that new beginning and so on, is something that's going to bring you happiness to a level that you haven't experienced yet. So don't block it before you have it. Let's clarify this for you, Virgos. I call upon the Divine. I call upon the Light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me bring clarity to this reading for Cancers for the month of December 2021. Okay, Two of Swords, King of Cups. Two of Swords, King of Cups. Six of Pentacle, Queen of Cups. So King and Queen of Cups. This is really on what you allow. How much happiness do you allow to your life? Because this, you're going to have to make a decision of what is your truth. That Six of Pentacles, this is when, yes, things can be balanced. I can receive from that. I can allow this happiness in and only give my overflow. It's a beautiful, this thing would be balanced. It wouldn't be like things before. So here, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, it asks of you to actually master your emotional vibration so that you can have the right feel to it. King of Pentacle. So by having the right feel to it, finding the, the opportunities and things like that. And here is the Nine of Cups because this is something that will make you happy. You cannot be juggling about it because that means you cannot say, you know, I'm going to hold on to my old concept of what reality is, which was, mm, you know, been there, done that. I don't see how you can impress me uh, or make me more happy than what I've experienced before. I wasn't born yesterday. That's kind of the Four of Cups here. And that new pentacle that wants to come in, they don't fit together, these two ways of thinking. That's why you need to make a decision, Queen of Cups, because if not, you will not see the opportunity you will not, not just not see it, but uh, it will not give, the fruit will not give what all that it can give. And that's why the hangman is there. They don't want to waste that beautiful seed if you're not going to water it or allow water to come into it. And that's why here, death and the hermit. So transformation, I have death and death here. Transformation of how you perceive reality, opportunities, what is in front of you. Earn it so that you can continue 
your path here, that's you, Virgo. But here I'm listening to my truth, not to my limited um, reference, but to my truth that is connected to my higher self. So changing the way you perceive uh, what the universe can bring to you. Let's look at that page of wands and the hangman. Yeah, the hangman is saying, leave the old waters behind that weren't so great anyway. Time to be very obvious about it, the sun. And here I have the moon, sun and moon. So bring the sun in your unconscious, in your waters, in, um, you know, how you feel, how you perceive all the invisible, bringing the sun in there to really see, okay, maybe I'm limiting things when I'm in my shadow, when I'm in my ego, but my higher self knows that there's more out there for me. So I'm going to leave my emotional reference behind and actually allow more. Ace of Wands, Four of Cups. And here is our King of Cups because that emotional intelligence is going to be in your King of Cups. Okay, that emotion, that insight on emotional wisdom so that you don't, Five of Sword, destroy it because you don't have any reference to it yet. I haven't experimented that, therefore it doesn't exist is a dead end. So, even if it's a very strong argument that your ego believes, it's still a dead end. And the hangman will wait till you look at this from a completely different angle and that you actually open yourself up to receive more. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands, so that you can start receiving that pentacle and not be just, that's it, closed to any new opportunities because what I know, I know and I'm going to keep this uh, because this is safe, I control it and that's it. The unknown, I don't control and um, I don't believe in it. That Ace of Pentacle with the Three of Wands, this is allowing this to come towards you. Six of Wands, lovers. And for that, we need to make a choice. Here I have Queen of Pentacle, Six of Cups, and what turned here? The Nine of Cups, the Emperor, because of course it's a decision of how you're going to actually, you know, this is towards your prosperity, this is towards your empire towards how you manage your life queen of wands three of pentacle of how you're going to build this and what you actually aim for aspire for desire these are all things that need to be um and here is that ace of uh, pentacle that is hidden until these things are decided inside of you Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. You're attracting. There's That means that there's a part of, yes, the pentacle might be there, but you have to see it and you have to attract it towards you. Magician. you got to manifest it. So there's a part of, because, you know, the feminines here, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacle, Queen of Pentacle. Uh, often we can hear, oh, the masculine is active and the feminine is passive. That does not work. There's no dynamic between something passive and something active. Both are active. It's just that one is active in the concrete world out there and the other one is active in the invisible world. So everything that has to do with perception, attraction, allowing, and inner knowing, it's all the feminine. And what is about decisions going out there, the moves you make, and so on, that's your masculine side. And so here, 
there's a question of being able to perceive it and attract it towards you. Queen of Sword, Queen of Pentacles, so you can grab that pentacle, uh, Queen of Wands, so you can grab that pentacle and manifest it. Magician. And here with the star, with faith, with authenticity, and it is something that will be very aligned with who you truly are. So death, chariot, and judgment here, the end of the month will be very decisive, okay? With all those major arcanas, it's going to mark the end of the old you that maybe wasn't growing anymore because of that so much been there done that I don't see how it can be better than this thing I want to say something about these three major arcanas they're repeating the ace of uh, ah, yeah so that you're not conflicted about that new beginning anymore and that you actually mm, king of wands so king of cups king of pentacle king of wands so that you actually go for it So I would call this go for it, Virgo, <laughs> because this is what you have to do. Go for it. So on this, I'm going to wish you an amazing month of December. And yes, go for it because it can offer you more than what you limit yourself to uh, emotionally. Okay. Uh, so. Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting, uh, and please subscribe to help grow the channel. If you want a private reading, the description is below. Also, I have an announcement. This month, I'm going to be uh, taking part of the International um, Conference on Spiritual Technology. And so it is three days, the 17th, 18th, and 19th of December. Um, there's the website that's going to be in the plus section below. You go on there and you see all of the different speakers coming from all different uh, backgrounds. Very interesting. And so, um, yes, all the information will be there. If you want a private reading, there's also my email here there that you can write to me. I'll write to you back with the information on how to book a reading for me uh, with me. And um, also, thank you for the ones of you who gave donations. This month, on the 4th of December, new moon in Sagittarius, I am uh, going to do a little ceremony to give you back. And of course, since we're in December, happy winter solstice on the 21st. May the light come back into your life. Good time to put seeds there so that they can grow with the light. And also Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate in this uh, last month of the year. So on that, love and light, namaste, and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.